What's going on gamers and big chumps? Today we're going to be doing something super cool. Something I've never done on the channel. I reviewed an arcade stick back in the day. But this is my arcade stick. And this is a funny story. Uh, I used to own this a while back. I sold it because I was broke as a motherfucker. And uh, I really wanted it back so I bought another one. But one thing that always griped me about this Mad Cats TS2. 2 plus whatever the fuck it is T T E S plus I don't I don't remember T E S there it is it's in the front right there uh the thing I didn't like about this stick was the artwork I don't like Street Fighter 5 I don't and don't argue with me on that because straight up dog I don't like Street Fighter 5 so I think the stick is really really phenomenal uh, I love the buttons on this I love the quality I love the weight I love the stick uh, I did change it out with the with the eight-way gate already but the thing I really didn't like about this stick was the artwork on it. That's gonna change now. Uh, I was looking into how I can mod this because I'm not really a modding person myself. So this is gonna be a very new experience to me. And I'm kind of scared because my hands are really shaky and I can't work well with tools and stuff. But I'm gonna try my very best and hopefully recording makes me like ease up a little bit and give me a little bit more motivation to do this. So yeah. Today we're going to be modding the TES Plus by Matacats. And also I'm going to be showing you some gameplay footage of this working on the PlayStation 5. Because yes, most PlayStation 4 arcade sticks should work with this. So yeah, if you're looking forward to getting one of these for your PlayStation 5, I would highly recommend to do so because it does work out of the box. Now I'm going to show you guys where I got all the stuff I'm going to use to mod this stick. And I got it all from focusattack.com. Uh, they sell buttons, switches, uh, boards, whatever arcade stick peripherals you need in the market. Yeah, I, I never even knew about this place and I thought it was pretty damn cool. So what I did, I created this myself in Photoshop. If you guys want to use this decal or this artwork, I got you. Uh, I'll probably link a PSD file down in the description. So the way you do this is that you turn this in as a Photoshop file. Uh, you put in the artwork that you want in the Photoshop file and then you turn it in and they make it for you. And dude, it is super clean. Look at that. Look at that. This is super clean. This was a, this was kind of a bitch to make because I had to edit out the logo and some of the characters were cut out. So this took me like a night to do. Uh, the only thing I messed up is that the characters are transparent in the background, but I didn't make them transparent enough. So they don't really show, but that's okay. It still looks pretty cool. So we also got the plexiglass for it for the very top. It's already fucking dirty. Shit. And I also got a few buttons here. I got some translucent yellow buttons. Uh, they look green more than yellow. I'm kind of disappointed in that, but that's okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll still look fine. And some two uh, translucent white buttons, which are gonna go on the N2 buttons, uh, right? I think it's the L1 and L2 buttons right here that uh, they're gonna go through. So without further ado, let's get started, chumps, and let's hope I don't fuck it up. All right, I'm gonna be straight up with y'all. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with what I'm doing. Uh, I'm trying my best on this, so I'm hoping that everything comes all right. And uh, hopefully I don't fuck everything up like usually I, usually I do when I try to do some things. So I think the first thing we're gonna have to do, I'm gonna use a lot of references on here. I'm gonna watch a lot of videos. Well, I've been watching a lot of videos as, as I was waiting for all this to come in. So we're gonna start off with getting the screws off in the back. So as we can see, there's what? One, two, three, four, five, six screws. Yeah, you don't have to take these off. These are the legs, but uh, just those six screws they need to take off and we should be good to go. So we're just gonna get a regular Phillips screwdriver. Phillips head screwdriver and uh, we should be on our way
All right, now that we got the back panel out, uh, I think it should just come off. I think it should. There you go. It just comes off just like that. All right. Um, I don't know whether I should remove the screws. Oh, I do need to remove the ball top. I think I remember how to remove that. I think I need a flathead, don't I? And it just comes off. And there we go, we got it off. It took me a while to uh, to take this off. So the way you do it is this screw right here, you're gonna get a flat head, uh, normally just a bigger one. And you're gonna turn it uh, clockwise alongside the ball top on both ends. And then it should just pop off and you should just be able to screw it right off. You'll feel the click, it'll, it'll click off and you'll be able to take it off. So it's not too hard. Uh, my hands are getting in the way of uh, doing this because I'm getting a little nervous, but uh, Hopefully that's uh, the end of our issues there. But yeah, we got that off. So we're, we'll be able to take off the back panel out of the way. All right, so now that the ball top is off, uh, let's also not lose these things here. We're gonna need these for later. So let's put them to a side. Uh, also, I'm gonna have to take a picture of these wirings so I can know where which is which. So let's go ahead and do that. Where's my phone at? It's right in my pocket. I wanna take pictures of your wirings. So you know which goes where once you put everything back. So I got mine ready to go. And now all we have to do is take out these screws with this. I don't know what type of bit screw this is. My dad just gave it to me. He said it should work and it does work because I took off one earlier. Um, but I will supply the bit screw size uh, that y'all need if that's what it's called. Uh, don't quote me on that. And uh, it should come off easily. Yep. It's coming right off. All right, and there goes the last screw. And don't worry about B-roll footage, y'all. I'll get some B-roll footage, some really nice shots of this. I can't get a before and after shot. Uh, but we can probably do it at this angle um, So so far so good. I think we can take this off now. I'm not too sure If this artwork will come off oh Whoa, actually the whole piece comes off Okay, this comes off with the button. So let's see where the ribbon cables are at. Okay Okay This is cool Okay, um, I don't think I need to disconnect all these other cables because I'm not going to be working with that, especially since I'm not changing out the stick or anything. Um, so I'm just going to have to figure out how to get these out and I'm pretty sure you just pull them out. So let me go ahead and take another picture of this. Now, I want to know, how do you take these things off? You just, okay, you just pull them off. Actually, it's not that bad. Come on, spit it out. There you go. These are not as bad as I thought it'd be. Actually, I'm very wrong about this because these wires were extremely glued on to the buttons. So I had an extremely difficult time getting these fucking buttons out, man. They did not want to come off. I looked up other videos to see if I was the only one having this problem, but apparently just this stick in general, the freaking Sanwa wires are just really hard to get off. So just be careful when taking these off because I ended up breaking one of the pins. And I'm going to show that later in the video. But yeah, when you're when you're working on this, just make sure you're very careful or get a, uh, some tweezers to pull out these um, uh, these wires carefully. Yep. Comes off just like that. And I'm not going to use this ever again. So I don't care if it gets damaged or not. There you go. Some of the art piece didn't come off. Oof, I'm gonna have to scratch that off. Well, I'm not gonna use this piece of shit ever again, so I don't really care what happens to it. Let's get that out of here. All right, I'm not too worried about that right now. What I'm worried about is, what I'm really worried about is getting these things off right here. I got, I was able to get the blue ones out, but 
can't seem to get every anything else out. So I'm going to jump to a little forward from this where I took off all the buttons already. I finished that process, but uh, I did end up messing one of the wires up. One of the pins actually bent and came off entirely from the wire itself. I wasn't pulling on the wire itself. I was pulling on the metal piece and me using my fingers with the metal piece, trying to wiggle it slightly uh, left and right. Uh, it broke. It bent and it came off and it, it was glued on to one of the pins on here. So um, I had to do what I uh, never thought of doing, which is getting a play of, uh, you know, metal tweezers and yanking them out because those things are glued on, man. They're glued the fuck on. Like, they're not going to come off, man. Um, which is unfortunate that I messed up one of the wires. And uh, I have another arcade stick lying around. Hopefully I can be able to get one of the wires out of that and uh replace it with that but i'm not too sure if you need both of these wires like of each wire to, uh, for each button to work uh, i'm guessing that's the case um, i'm pretty sad right now because I, I did mess it up somehow i knew in this project i was gonna mess it up but i'm gonna continue with the project and show you the final product and uh hopefully everything turns all right we're just gonna line this up and put in the buttons as we all wanted to do in the first place okay that's lined up now let's just line these two up. I already cut out all the, the cutouts and stuff. So rest in peace Chun-Li's face. She's no longer on the artwork. And we're just going to line this up and start placing the buttons in. So the buttons are flesh with our artwork here. That looks badass. That's making me a little bit more happy. So I, I know it's not completely broken. I know I can mess around with the wires and, you know, um... You know fix something up these things are very fixable but i don't have the experience to do so so i'm gonna have to wait a little longer till i am able to use this so we're gonna start with the first button like again another translucent yellow uh these were not yellow at all these ended up being green but i still think they look cool so and that looks super tight nice so we're gonna go ahead and put everything else in goes in the final one. Oh, that looks tight. Looks super tight. Uh, okay, so now uh, all I got to do is just clear up from this area and uh, I'm pretty sure putting back the wires in isn't going to be as hard as taking them out. Uh, and I and I looked up other videos thinking that if it was only me that was encountering this problem, but it was not only me, man. People were having trouble with this thing, man. So now Gotta put the wires back in. Let me bust out the picture and uh, hopefully everything turns all right. All right, so it seems that I got all of them in already. And uh, yeah, it seems to be the case so far. So everything's done down here, um, despite the wrong, uh, the messed up wire that I did here, which is unfortunate, like I said earlier. Um, but so far, so good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, test this out just to see if even the triangle button will even boot up. Um, but I have any, I have very high doubts that it will. Also, I got some great news. I just attached this right now to my computer and uh, I was able to actually put in the broken pin back into one of the buttons and put the little plastic thing inside it. And it's secure enough because the only way it's coming off is if you pull it 
uh, if you pulled it. And I shook it around and everything, and it's not coming off. And it worked. So yes, I bent it. Yes, it broke off. But as long as it's making contact in some certain way, it works. And I don't feel any latency and everything. So I'm really, really happy about that. I'm glad that I didn't fuck it up entirely. Well, I technically fucked it up, but uh, it works. Um, and I'm very happy about that. So as long as it's steady and it's still, um, it should be working. So uh, I'm just hoping it doesn't come loose when I uh, play it. But as I said, um, you have to actually pull it for it to come off the little plastic piece uh, on the Sanwa wire to for it to come off. So uh, I don't think I don't think it should come off too easily. So I'm going to screw everything back in. Uh, I'm going to get the back plate on first. Well, I'm going to get the front panel on first and then I'll do the black plate and then I'll uh, screw in. Well, since we're already at this process, let's get a, let's go ahead and start screwing everything back in. I have everything finally put together and uh, this plexiglass is a fingerprint magnet especially since my hands are really sweaty so uh, don't mind that but other than that not bad for my first arcade stick mod I never thought I'd ever do this in my life because I was so scared to do it but I'm glad I did it it was a little scary um, but this thing looks fucking awesome like god damn dude this thing is a freaking beauty Oh my god, you got my boy Spider-Man, Venom, the only characters that really matter in Marvel vs. Capcom. Changed my fucking mind. And uh, I absolutely love this stick. It, it's way much better than whatever the fuck this was. Jesus. I hated this thing. It's so ugly. And now look at it. Fuck you. You suck. Now I'm very proud of myself for doing this. Um, I never thought it, like I said, I never thought I was going to. But uh, this is great. I really, really love this. Now, this is going to be my fight stick for life now. Unless I do another fight stick mod and maybe probably make my own. But uh, so far, so good, man. I love, I actually ended up liking the button so far. It fits it so well. I really love it. Even though it don't look too yellow, um, it looks great. Um, so now that we got all that fixed up and put together, it took me quite a while. Uh, how about some gameplay footage? And how about on the PlayStation 5? Because I'm pretty sure um, people are wondering if arcade sticks work on the PlayStation 5. And the short answer is yes. So enjoy some Marvel vs. Capcom 2 footage. Marvel vs. Capcom 2, I fucking wish. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 footage running on the PlayStation 5 with this arcade stick. And then we'll hop over to my PC and try some MVC 2. Uh, we'll go ahead and try some uh, Dragon Ball Fighters And uh, maybe Mortal Kombat 11. I don't play MK11 on stick. But we'll give it a shot with this um, stick.